Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ezdar, man. And in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys some toxic gameplay. If you know, you know your boy Ezdar be running the craziest lineups. You know I like the height, the length. Y'all see my starting lineup? We got Magic at the one, Paul George at the two, James Worthy at the three, James Wiseman at the four, and then we got Porzingis at the five. We got Ball Ball coming off the bench. My shortest player in my lineup is six nine. No Takashi. Nah, that's corny. Let me chill out. But as y'all see right here, we got James Wiseman with blinders. Then we're going to run Porzingis and Bobo. Bo. We're going to play some triple threat. We're going to give y'all some gameplay of how they all are together. But, man, I ain't even going to cap. I couldn't even play no full games. We got people quitting, bro. We got people quitting. I ain't going to cap. If you got the MT to do this, do it now. This will be your best investment. Porzingis, Bobo, Bo, same type of card. Porzingis is taller, better stats. Same jump shot. So it's like it's not going to be that hard to adapt to using Porzingis if you already had Bull Bull. We have a height of 7-1, which is James Wiseman. Then we got Bull Bull at 7-2. Then we got Porzingis at 7-3. So that means when we play in triple threat, we're going to have a James Wiseman running a 1-7-1 one, one point guard. That's just insane to even think about it. But as y'all see here, I'm just showing y'all their stats. Their stats are pretty decent. Porzingis is a great card. I'm not going to lie. But who do I like between him and James Wiseman? I'm not going to lie. I like James Wiseman more. I can definitely run Wiseman and Bull Bull with like Paul George. I'm just waiting until I get that invincible Bill Russell from the spotlight. Sims Grant. It's very stressful. I ain't even going to cap. I have got James Worthy. I got Jimmy Butler so far. I don't have Jimmy Butler in this video. But I got him today. And then we're going for Dan, but it's just so annoying. The AI just gets so annoying, bro. But like I was saying, we're going to get this Bill Russell. Then we're going to probably sell Porzingis. We're going to put James Wiseman at the five and then Bill Russell at the four. So that way we could get some MT back. We could be sitting at a good amount of MT. So that way if new cards come out next week, you know we're going to go live on Friday. We always go live on Fridays and we make sure we open up some packs we make sure we get those cards and put out some content for y'all man now, i know i haven't been grinding as much i know i know i haven't been getting a lot of recognition but it's it's on me i gotta get back to that grind i gotta make sure i put out at least two videos a day live stream at least five times a week i gotta get back on that grind bro it's just 2k has been so frustrating and i also been very busy with this school stuff and there's just a whole lot going on right now but with that being said though we got james wiseman porzingis and we got ball ball how much better can you get than that I didn't even see I had Jimmy Butler on my bench. My fault if I said I didn't have Jimmy Butler, but we off that, though. We don't care about that. We going up against Steph, Sabonis, and I believe that's Tony Kukoc. I can't really tell, but he misses his first shot. The score is 0-0. Zero, zero. This, this, this right here, you know, like I said in the last video, uncut, unedited gameplay. That's how we do it, bro. We show y'all everything. First take with James Wiseman. I'm not going to lie to y'all. In this game, this is my first game using Porzingis and James Wiseman. I'm keeping it a, I'm keeping it a bug with y'all. This is my first game, so if I'm looking like a brick, I'm shooting terrible. Don't mind me. It's my first game. Caught me some slack. We trying to make it work. As y'all see, we got that defense, though. We just locking up everything, stealing everything, contesting everything, bro. It's hard for him to score. It's going to be hard for a lot of people to score. It's just too much length. There's too much defense. There's just so much going on right now. We got a center running the one on this mode, bro. When you thought you could avoid position locks and people... Pulling up with 6'10", 6'11", point guards. You running up against a team full of seven footers. That was a white we hit with Porzingis, but it's all good. Y'all know I don't like hitting whites. I hate hitting whites. I never really hit whites, first of all. But we get one to go with Porzingis. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. The score is five zip. We got to steal with my boy James Wiseman. You know we're going to have to go all the way to the basket. Seven zip. Start off starting off great i ain't even gonna care this is a great start to the game for the cards that i'm just not using i did not want a bad start and we get a block with bo bo bro i'm telling you it's gonna be very hard for a lot of people to score he gets an easy basket because all my players were out i was just playing up top protecting the perimeter not trying to get them to score no threes we curry slide and we pulling with james Miseman. it's a white it's a leaner and we hit that i ain't even gonna cap this was this game right here i did not know how to shoot him i did not know that his shot was gonna be that quick but it's all good because at this point right now while i'm recording this video I mastered his jump shot and his jump shot is just amazing. If I'm being honest with y'all, if you if you were to choose between James Wiseman, Porzingis, and Bull Bull, so Pink Diamond, Opal, and Dark Matter, I'm going with James Wiseman. He's right in between. Not only because he's right in between the Pink Diamond and Dark Matter, but he's like literally a combo of both. Yeah, he's the shorter one, but he has the better jump shot than all of them. He has the same exact dribble animations as Bull Bull. His, his jump shot is just better. 
than Bull Bull. He feels much quicker. But if you can get at least James Wiseman and Bull Bull, then why not let it fly? But if I'm going with one of them, I'm choosing James Wiseman. James Wiseman is like more up to date. He's gonna last longer. He's definitely a demon. He's like he just reminds me like of Giannis and Bull Bull combined. But with that being said, though, we up 12 to 6. We got sharp take with my boy James Wiseman. We made sure we put Grinches on him. And we got Frank Vogel. So that gives him sharp take. I don't know what takeover he comes with off rip. But definitely invest in either Frank Vogel or the Grinches. As y'all see, we locking up, bruh. I'm telling y'all, it's going to be real hard for a lot of people. We get this guy to quit. It's, that's game one. It's going to be hard for a lot of people. We in game two. We curry slide and we using this man James Wise to our best advantage and we just slide through that lane and score. I am telling y'all, bro, it's gonna be hard for a lot of people to stop this team. It's a damn near impossible unless you use these cards because I don't see anybody else. Like you can literally switch with anybody. You can switch on screens if you're playing online unlimited. You can switch with anybody if you have a tall team. That's the benefits of having a very tall team. If Magic switch onto your center, he will be able to stop the center. If your center switches onto the point guard, he'll be able to stop the point guard because they all have high perimeter D. They're all tall. They're all lengthy. They're all goats, bruh. Now, the only thing about that is they might be a little too costly. I'm not going to lie. They might cost a lot. But if you can at least get yourself the Opal Magic Johnson, if you can at least get yourself Bull Bull and maybe James Wiseman because James Wiseman is not that much MT, you'll be good, bruh. I ain't even going to cap. You'll be very good. 6'9", 7'2", 7'1". You be in good hands. If you run triple threat, you have James Wiseman as the shooting guard. You play online, you'll still be good because you're going to have a lot of length. You're going to be able to switch from the point guard to the center. You can run five outs. You can do a whole lot. Now, the main thing about my team now is if you do, if your center can't shoot, if you're using James Donaldson, if you're using Galaxy Opal Shaq, if you're just using cards that have terrible jump shots or cards that can't shoot, you're tripping. I'm not going to lie, you're tripping. At this point in my team, you, the worst you can go is at least Bo Bo. And Bo Bo's not even bad at all. He's probably like still top two, top three centers in the game. If you want at least to get James Wiseman, Bo Bo, cards like those, those lengthy, tall motherfuckers, bro. That's the best cards in the game to use. Because when it comes to the time to run a five out or when, when you want them to spot up, you want them to do a whole lot. You can even be able to ISO with your center. You want to be able to do everything from the one to the five position. Because if not, it's going to make it harder for you when you play online. You're going to have people off-balling, sagging off, standing in the paint because they know that certain cards can or can't shoot. You want to be able to shoot with all the cards on your team, whether if it's triple threat, whether if it's spotlight challenges, whether if it's unlimited, even limited. Limited, you want to make sure everybody in your squad can shoot. Now, for limited, I might drop a video on the new limited challenge because I have a great squad for that. So look out for that stay tuned for that but the score is 10 7 we up right now we still putting the clamps on him i'm not gonna lie in this game i was just playing around this game i was just playing around a lot he pulled out james donaldson i was literally just playing around bro i was not trying to try hard like when i tell you look snatch block james Wiseman, i was not trying hard at all there was no need to try hard against the people i was playing i'm not gonna lie yeah i might not be playing that much comp but these cards were still going nuts I was just really testing them out, getting a feel, like being able to play around with these cards. Because if not, when it comes to the game time, like when I play Unlimited and when I play Triple Threat Online against some real comp, it's going to make it harder for me. I got to know how to actually use these cards because I want to be able to shoot from deep. As y'all see me pulling up a Porzingis and it's a green. If it ain't green, it ain't good. And that's the rule that I live by, bro. If you make a shot and it's a white, are you making consecutive whites? I'm going to be mad. I hate whites. Whites are annoying. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. He's pulling up with Steph Green, and you got to give him props. I'm not going to lie, but like I'm saying, not even trying to discredit this person. I'm just not really trying this game. When you come out and triple that online with teams like this, it just makes me not, like, take you serious at all. I'm not going to lie. You pulling out James Donaldson. You pulling out Steph. At the end of the day, I don't care if I win by one or if I win by 20 because it's all a W. It doesn't, does not matter. People say, yo, I just spanked you by 20. Yo, you only beat me by one. At the end of the day, guess what was the results? I won. Ha ha, I win, you lose. But now nah, I'm just playing. But the score is 15 to 10. We just getting, we just having fun, bro. As y'all see, bro, if y'all get these, if you get this lineup, you have a lot of fun. There's no doubt about it. All these cards can curry slide. That's the best part about it. They can all curry slide. They can all do the good behind the backs. Besides Porzingis, Porzingis has a weird behind the back, but it's not that bad. But Bobo Ball Ball and James Wiseman has Pro 3 behind the backs. Porzingis and Bobo Ball Ball have the same jump shot. 
so that's a great thing it's not going to be that much different that hard to get adapted to them like i said earlier in the video but we up 18 to 10 i think we're up to the part where we can skip through i'm not gonna lie to y'all i know i said everything's unedited uncut but we're gonna go ahead and skip to the part where the game ends and it comes to an end right here we make him quit that's two quits in a row and those were the only two games i played i played an unlimited game i lost the first one but i won like three in a row after that i'm not gonna lie because the unlimited it was kind of tough kind of difficult because it was my first full like 5v5 game back online especially but with that being said though make sure you hit that like and sub button turn on post notifications if you haven't if you made it this far in this video comment s dot is wise in the comment section for a chance to win what 30 now we're gonna make it 35,000 BC. We're gonna do a 35,000 BC giveaway. So make sure you comment down below in the comment section. And I'm out, y'all. Peace.